Uh, okay, found the silly mistake. Actually, there were two. Um, one was mine and one was to do with the tool we're using. The one that was mine was this. Um, I've made a counter variable here um, and I'm using it, but I'm not increasing it myself each time. And if you're using a while loop and you've got your own counter, then you've got to be responsible for increasing it by one each time. So inside, uh, inside here, I'm going to have to say counter equals counter plus one. And also, here's the bug that wasn't mine. Um, when you're doing an AND in pseudocode, you can use AND, but in this particular tool, you have to use the Java way of doing it because of the way it translates it. So I have to use ampersand, ampersand. So if I run that, type in the number four, um, I can see that it stops after making one, two, three, four comparisons, which is one, two, three, four, which is correct. Prints out a lot of extra stuff, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, don't need that. And then the very, very end, the last thing I have to do when the loop finishes is print out whether it was found or not, because I am actually, I am actually stopping it after it's been found. After it's been found, it's found in position number four, but um, I'm not printing out in the screen whether it was actually found or not. So I need an if at the end. So I need to say if find it equals true, and if and I'm going to say um, if find it equals true, then output find it. Um, and I'm going to say else I put didn't find it. There we go. And uh, that should work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> if find it equals true, I put find it. Oh, then. Then I put find it. So number four. Ding. False, 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 true, find it. So I don't need to print out those trues and falses anymore. Um, there you go, I put find it. So quick summary, setting up an array, 12 values in it. Um, I'm setting a flag to be false, whether I find it yet. Um, I'm inputting what number I'm searching for and I'm resetting the counter for my loop. Then the condition of my loop is while I still haven't found it and it's less than the length of the array, which is 12. Um, so it goes from 0 to 11. Um, checks whether the current number in the array is equal to the number I've typed in. And if it is true, it sets up my flag to true, which means when it gets down to the bottom of the loop, it drops out. Um, increases the number that I'm looking at inside the array, starting at 0 and going to 11, and then loops around. As soon as I set find it to true, or as soon as counter reaches um, 12, it's going to drop out of that loop. And then depending on whether I have actually found it or not, it'll print out find it or did not find it. Let's run it. Uh, let's look for a different number this time. 3, 3, well, 80, 80, idiot. Find it. To prove it does work, um, let's look for a number which is not there. And did not find it. Okay.